Today, I'm gonna to share with you four ways that you can practice your door hanger painting without ever using a piece of wood. Wood can be expensive, right? Especially in this day and age. So I don't want you to purchase wooden blanks and then just, you know, get frustrated midway through and just give up or throw it away. So if you're a little apprehensive about that or afraid to go cut your own wood and you just, you're like, I need to convince myself that I can do this before I actually start doing it on wood. I've got four ways you can practice, okay? Number one, you can pick up cute little cutouts just like these from the Dollar Tree or a dollar each. These are are actually intended for kids and come with little markers but just throw those markers away or give them to your kids to use and cut paint the little tree yourself or you can flip it over and paint whatever you want on the other side it's a great way to practice on wood without spending very much so these are just a dollar these are fun little three-dimensional pieces from the dollar tree this one is meant to look like a little Christmas house or gingerbread house and it just gives you something you can practice on that's nice and cheap so that's way number one Number two would be to pick up some canvases from the Dollar Tree. They have canvases there also, and you can use our principal templates on canvas. I know, speaking from experience, picking up a blank white canvas is so intimidating because there's nothing on it, right? There's no lines, there's nothing. So you can use our principal templates on canvas. All you have to do is use some graphite paper, just like you would do on wood. Place the graphite paper behind the template trace it and then you will have some lines on your canvas to get started okay now this probably isn't a great one to use on a canvas just because it's a circular design but you get the point i'm going to demonstrate how to use this on our fourth way in just a moment way number three a mixed media pad even as an, an, an artist who's been painting for a long time i still need to practice things new techniques and whatnot so I have a mixed media pad that I can pull out and practice techniques on whenever I feel like I need to, you know, try it out before I use wood. So the thing about mixed media pad is this paper is thicker than regular paper. See, I covered the whole page in paint and it doesn't go through. The back side's not covered. There I practice a fun tie-dye technique. There's another tie-dye and another. This was a fun like class that I took and I wanted to practice the technique. So I used mixed media. It's cheaper than canvas to do this. And these are actually perforated pages. So I can tear these pages out and I can put them in a frame or something. Now here is where I was testing out some glitter base coat. I wanted to see like what it would look like with or without the base coat and stuff like that. So it's just a good way to practice things on a mixed media pad. Now you can find these at Hobby Lobby or even um, Michaels and Amazon. I think I have them linked in my Amazon favorites. Now the fourth way and the most economical or cost effective would be to practice on cardboard. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you now. I've just got part of an old Amazon box. I cut part of the cardboard out. I know all of you have Amazon boxes laying around, right? The only investment you'll probably have to make is purchasing some graphite paper. That's what this is. You can get this at craft stores or Amazon as well. And you place it shiny side down. See how this side is really shiny? This side's a little dull. Print out your template. This is one of the designs in our shop. Our designs come in four different sizes. This is the eight inch size. I knew that would fit on my cardboard. And now we're just gonna take an ink pen and we're gonna trace the design. So let's say I just wanted to practice this flower right here. So we'll just trace this flower, but you could trace the entire design if you wanted to practice the entire thing. Now cardboard is gonna be similar to painting on wood. It probably will suck up the paint more than regular wood will, but um, it's uh, a good way to practice because it's similar to painting on wood and it's not gonna, you know, the paint's not gonna like soak through really bad and make a mess on the back or anything. It should be just fine. But of course, you're not gonna be able to like hang this up on your door. This is just a practice piece. All right, I just traced that one little flower just for demonstration purposes so you can barely see that so what I'm going to do is go ahead and trace it with a sharpie so you can see it even better that will also make it to where if I accidentally paint over my graphite lines I can still see them through the paint but isn't that nice I didn't have to draw that flower or anything I just traced it on there and matter of fact if you want some free templates to try this on you can get some free templates in our free library on our website you just go in there put in your email it'll give you a password and there's some in there that you can give it a try on all right I'm gonna lower this so that you guys are closer let's use this pink color it's called joyful pink 
just gonna get a little filbert tip brush and start filling it in so this is a great way to practice because you know you'll immediately see hmm this pink is a little bit transparent you know how many coats of pink will this take and so a lot of colors like pink yellow red orange those colors sometimes are gonna be a little on the transparent side and so it might take more coats or you may have to paint a color behind it to make it stand out better for instance we could have painted like a light tan in here to lighten up the background color of the cardboard i am painting right over the top of those sharpie lines i'm covering them up so you can do that also kids would love to paint this way also so if you're if you have little kids at home and they want to paint right alongside mom you know you could pull out a piece of cardboard trace something on it for them so they have something to to work with or you could print out like a, a coloring sheet online like a picture of a dinosaur or something like that and then um, use that to let them paint so i'm going to paint the center white because as dark as this cardboard is i know the white is going to help my yellow look brighter so paint it white first and while that's drying we'll go ahead and paint our leaves we'll use this color it's called irish moss and i have another green that's called hauser medium green that i'm going to use also this is just a, a great way to practice without wasting any wood the only thing you might be wasting is your paint but when you consider that that's the cost that it takes to learn to practice it's not really all that wasteful okay so now that we've got those painted we can paint our center of our flowers There we go. We have just practiced painting a flower on a piece of cardboard. So simple, you guys. And y'all could just do this over and over again. You could let your kids do it. It's a great way to practice. I hope you guys found this helpful and um, it'll help you get better at door hanger painting. Happy painting, guys.